G'day guys, it's Ashton Cartwright here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to format a paperback for uploading it onto Amazon. Uh, now we're going to be using Amazon's new KDP platform for paperbacks, which makes it all pretty straightforward. And it's actually a remarkably easy process. Previously we used to have to publish paperbacks through CreateSpace or something like that, and it was a lot more fiddly to get sorted out. So I'll show you how we do it using Amazon's templates. Uh, so here you can see I've just searched KDP manuscript template paperback and the first one that comes up here will be the Amazon one. This is the one you want to use because it will always be updated with whatever template works best for their books. So we just select blank templates and so these are the different sizes that Amazon can print your book in. The most common one is 6 inches by 9 inches so that's the one we're going to use uh, for this book. So if we just select that, it'll uh, download that template. We'll just drag it over here. So uh, here's the template. I'm just going to rename it template to make it easier to find. And you'll see that it's this is a six by nine inch basic template. Paste your manuscript into this template and then delete this text. No worries, we'll enable editing so that we can do that. So we'll delete that first. And the book we're going to convert to a paperback is called The Nostradamus Equation. So I've got that over here. What I'll do is I'll open this. So this is the book that's going to go into this template. It's very straightforward. Uh, you press Control A and that selects the entire file. So it's highlighted every single page, um, 196 pages, so it's selected it all. Then you press Control C to copy the entire uh, manuscript. Go back to our template, press Control V to paste it in. All right, so now it's post pasted in the entire book onto the template. Um, what we're going to do now is, because the one we copied and pasted was the Kindle version, it's actually got links to other books in the series and things like that. That's not needed for a paperback, so we're going to actually delete that bit of end matter there. There we go. And the other thing we'll change is we'll have a look at the top. So we've got the Nostradamus equation, copyright's the same as in the paperback. Uh, sorry, the same, we're going to use the same copyright for the paperback as the Kindle version. Now here the table of contents that we use in the Kindle version, we'll want to change that uh, because as you can see it doesn't have page numbers listed. So what we'll do is we'll click on the table of contents to highlight it. As you can see it's all highlighted here. We go to References, select Table of Contents, select Custom Table of Contents, and Things you'll need to change for the, from the default here is show levels. We'll change that to one because we don't want subheadings for anything here. These two boxes should be ticked, which is show page numbers, which is on by default, and write align page numbers, which is also on by default. Now we're going to select the format. We're just going to go the classic, which is the, the most basic uh, table of contents layout. So we'll select that there, hit OK. And this will override our previous table of contents. So there you go, replace table of contents, yes. So we're overriding the previous one, which had all the links and works for Kindle, into one that will show the page numbers. Now you can see here, I'll make it two pages just so it looks a bit more book-like. You see we've got a bigger gap for this page than we do for this page. That's because when we're printing it, the centre uh, or the gutter of the book will need more space. So even though at the moment it looks like this is on the left hand side and this is on the right, when it's printed these will actually be the opposite way around. So you see here there's quite a bit of space here, not much space here, quite a lot of space here and not much here. That's because when these two pages are switched over, that will be the gutter in the centre of the book. And that will be the gutter in the centre of the book. If they print right to the edge there, you won't be able to read the, the, the text that's in there. 
And that is it. So we will save that. And we're all done. That's now being converted into a paperback, six by nine inches. And we can go ahead and upload it to Amazon. And I'll do that in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.